Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben, aka No Shins. This video is about what does pre gambling actually do? This is going to be the title to this video. And that's the question what does pre gambling actually do? If you've never tried pre gambling before, uh, basically it is a painkiller slash anti anxiety medication which is pretty addictive not quite as addictive as oxycodone but or morphine but it's probably more addictive than codeine and dihydrocodeine not not it isn't very very addictive but it's fairly addictive <clears throat> i think it's a physical dependency as well as a mental dependency as a psychological dependency as well as a physical one <clears throat> The doctors never told me about any addiction when I was first prescribed pregabalin. <sighs> Lyrica is what pregabalin is known as in the United States of America. Maybe in Australia too it's known as Lyrica. Is someone from Oz, please tell, correct me. Is pregabalin in Australia known as Lyrica or is it known as pregabalin? That is a question for you Aussies out there. I've got a mate called Jay who lives in Tasmania by the way. And he lives in Hobart, which is the capital of Tasmania. And I haven't spoken to him for quite a number of months now, so I really hope he's all right. Jay, please get back to me, mate. I care about you. I'll miss you. Please get back to me. It has me back to Facebook. I can't remember if you're blocked or something, but it's answer me back on my YouTube if you get, a, get this message. Please reply to me. I'm Ben. I remember chatting to you on Facebook for years, mate. That wasn't for you, that's just because I can't help control my eyes. Anyway, pre gabbling can be sniffed through the nose. You know, it gets to your brain quicker and the backwash taste is so nice of pre gabbling as well. That's the sense you get, the taste you get when it, uh, when it hits the back of your throat and you get the mucus and stuff at the back of your throat from sniffing drugs, as in this case, pre gabbling. When the pregabalin hits the back of your throat, it, it's a very nice feeling. It's tasty stuff. It's quite nice. I like it a lot. But I, I didn't get prescribed pregabalin anymore. Probably because I was abusing it to the nth degree. So the doctors thought, I'm not having him on that anymore. I'm getting him off it. So that's what they did. They took me off it in hospital. They weaned me down. Weaned me down from 800 milligrams a day to 225 milligrams a day. In one go. Terrible. From off Devon District Hospital, you should be ashamed of yourself. In Moreland View or Ocean View Ward, whichever you like to call yourself now, those staff are horrendous. You've ruined my life. I'm going to be making a fucking serious complaint to your managers. People that run the hospital I'm on about it, and they get a really nasty email off me soon. It's sickening what they've done to me in there, put me in that isolation room when I had nothing fucking wrong. A room with a toilet, a sink, and a mattress that's about an inch thick on the floor. Disgusting. How can someone live in such diabolical conditions? It's inhumane. Inhumane. Worse than being locked up in prison. Anyway, when I was sniffing pre gabalin it made me very drowsy and a bit out of it. I used to, I used to sniff pre gabbling with alcohol, drinking alcohol at the same time, like vodka or lager or even cider. I used to drink factory cider, even white lightning or if you like lager, I would drink special brew, 9% special brew. It's very, very strong lager. But this can mess you up and make you become an alcoholic, this special brew stuff. So can K cider what I used to drink regularly for a year at St. Laurie's Foundation in Exeter. That's a college called St. Laurie's. My ex-girlfriend went to the same college as me, yeah? And I didn't know my ex-girlfriend from college. I never even knew who she was when she was there. But she said she went to the same college as me. And this is pretty rare because not everyone in North Devon goes to a, a college in East Devon or wherever Exeter is. Is it South Devon, East Devon, where Mid Devon? I don't know. No one seems to know where the whereabouts of Exeter, but it's in Devon somewhere. South of here on the map, South 
west of here, south east of here, remember that. I always think it's an ill room there, that's why it says south. But this is kind of west. West, northwest of Exeter here. Pre gabbing is a very, very nice effect when you sniff it. If you take it orally, you'll get a nice effect, but it'll just take longer to kick in. And it probably won't seem as strong as it would do if you sniffed it. When you sniff it, the effects come on really a lot faster. And which is what is better about sniffing it is also you can control the effects. You can control how high you want to get, how doped up you want to get, how drowsy you want to get. You just stop sniffing when you have done enough, basically. When you've done enough pre gabbing you'll know about it because you'll be passed out on the bed or passed out on the floor, wherever you are doing it. I recommend having a bed in the room. You need to get some sleep after taking those pre gabbing because you'll be out of it. I used to take 14 a week, 300s. That was just what I sniffed in a day. But it only lasted about an hour, 14 capsules an hour. A lot of very mashed all the time off the 300s. Very mashed. Oh, I got drowsy as fuck on them. A really nice feeling as well. I never want to go through the withdrawal again though. The withdrawal from pre gabbling involves getting a heavy sweat, diarrhea, shaking, sweating on my back. My back was sweating, my head was sweating, my forehead was dripping with sweat. This was just from standing up or sit, even sitting down in a chair. I'll be sweating my bollocks off basically getting off of pre gabbling. It's the hardest thing I've ever done other than get off heroin and crack. Harder than Valium to get off of, I reckon. Or on par with her like Valium to get off of. Sorry, I need some heroin then. Um. Heroin isn't that bad, but it is bad when you come off at cold turkey. I would switch to methadone with heroin, so I was already on methadone when I stopped taking heroin, so I was meant to stop. I stopped taking oxycotton, which is why I was on methadone in the first place, really. But after that I stopped doing the heroin because so I was on methadone to hold me. I didn't need to take the heroin as well every day. I felt like I could get off it. And I did it and I won the battle. I won the battle, me and heroin, and I won. Heroin lost. It's like a battle. Your mind is just on heroin all the time. You think about it every second of the day until you do it. This is why I have to sleep drinking coffee and stuff, because I've got to distract my mind somehow. Another reason I like making YouTube videos, so I can distract my mind. Oh yeah, Billy James, if you hear me on this video, please give me your mobile number. And I'll, I'll phone you up on your mobile. Just post it as a comment here, I'll remove the comment as soon as I see it. Please post it up in the next, before midnight tonight. Unless you're working, of course. In that case, just post it up when you can. And I'll take it down as soon as I've seen it and add it to my face, to my contacts. This is William McClellan, I think his name is. I think it's McClellan or something like that. I don't know who he is. Billy James Music person. Anyway, free gabbling is a, is a love drug. It's what I loved about drugs. The drowsiness I got of free gabs was so immense. So brilliant. So I was out of my head, basically. But you can't live on free gabbling your whole life because you're just asleep. And I don't want to be asleep for my whole life. I want to do stuff in my life now. I've got hidden skills like fixing phones, fixing laptops, fixing computers, stuff like that. And probably even fixing iPod screen now. I haven't got a basic toolkit to do it with though, but I know how to do it. I need a specialised laptop toolkit. 
I've got a phone talking. That's 10 minutes now this video's been on, going on for. I'll leave this video here about what pre gabbling actually does. And I'll upload it. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making this video, so I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please comment below if you have any questions for me, Ben Rogers, and I'll answer them as soon as I see them. Or within 24 hours, definitely, unless I die or something, which shouldn't happen. Praise the Lord it doesn't happen, because I want to stay alive now I've got off my drugs. I want to go to Australia to see my aunt and stuff like that. It'd be brilliant if I can do that. With my mate, that with my mate in Tasmania as well. That sounds mental, it's Tasmanian devils and that. Brilliant place, I reckon it's, it's over there. Full of drugs though. Anyway, that'll do for now. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch any more videos by me. I'll make some more soon. Thanks for watching, goodbye all, bye.